Hey folks, I ain't made a video in a while and I apologize, I've been dealing with some things. But it was brought to my attention day before yesterday that some people on TikTok are uh, doing this thing where they're saying something in the Bible has already happened, which hasn't. I'm sure y'all can guess it. They're saying, and I've never heard this before, but they're saying the Great Tribulation has already happened. Folks, that's false. If the Great Tribulation has already happened back in Jesus' time, then the Rapture had already happened. If the Rapture already happened, then the Antichrist has already rose. If the Antichrist has risen, then the Second Coming has already happened. So therefore, we wouldn't need to watch. We wouldn't need to pray always that we're kind of worthy to escape. It makes no sense. There's people teaching this stuff. And I want to tell all of you to please, please beware of false teachings. If you don't know scripture, read it. Learn it. Know it. Believe it. And the problem is these people that are teaching these things, it's dangerous dangerous just think how many people they're leading astray you know jesus said he's coming in an hour that people think not so teaching stuff like that is also going to teach these people not to watch and when they're not watching he's going to come like a thief in the night for them and they're going to have no idea it's dangerous but um i know a few of you have asked about my my surgery and the crazy thing is, I don't know why, but my wife wanted to keep my rib after it was removed. Uh, my first rib up here. And uh, I told him to throw it away. I didn't want no part of it. I didn't want it. But my wife wanted it, so the hospital didn't clean it. It was disgusting. They sent it home with us in a jar. Still had my uh, muscle and stuff on it, so... Um, Anyways, she brought it home, my wife, and, and cleaned it with vinegar and peroxide and all kinds of stuff. And here it is today. As you can see, about the same size as my thumb. But your first rib is tiny as it is. So uh, probably had another inch on each side. And that would have been the whole thing. But they just cut where my subclavian artery and uh, I forgot the name of that nerve. You got a, a subclavian artery right here and a nerve that controls each arm. And when you have thoracic outlet syndrome, this rib pinches up against your collarbone and pinches either your subclavian artery or that nerve. And in my case, it was pinching both. So I could have died from blood clots. So they had to remove it. And what causes this? I don't know. Many different things. Um, Anyways, I figured I'd say that while I was on here. Anyways, uh, y'all please just, just pay attention. Because um, these guys teaching this stuff are leaning on their own understanding. I don't know if I've already said that. And uh, people who lean on their own understanding of things do not have the spirit. And if they don't have the spirit, how can they teach scripture? And you know what's crazy is usually the ones who have hundreds of thousands of followers are the ones preaching this kind of false doctrines i don't understand it but anyways god bless all of you and please beware